Hey, in this video I wanted to show the process that I use for these uh, boards that I get out of the computers and things, plus fingers, and uh, there are some uh, pins in here, and there's a few of them anyway. And what I do is I cut these up smaller pieces. And these are just the ones that have gold on the surface. When uh, I'm checking these boards, I use a piece of sandpaper to find out if the back of the board is gold or copper. Whether it's wired with copper or not. This one's wired with copper, so all I want is this gold that's on the front. And there's little pieces where they make connectors and this strip, this came out of a, uh, a laptop. I believe it was the, the screen part of it. And stick them in here. And then on the fingers, there's two or three different ways you can get them off. Use one of these cutters. And Do it this way. Only cutters and just whack them off. Or, other way, just take a pair of pliers and break them off. It works pretty well. drop one. <laughs> anyway, see that that's a little large. I want to cut that down so I let you put the big pieces in there they don't tumble very well. Then also we just add in there I want to add a little bit of this rock. This gravel that I get out of the out of the parking lot. A couple of handfuls in there. This actually rolls around in there and scrapes the gold off of all the boards. And you know, also underneath the gold on those boards is a uh, layer of nickel in most cases. And nickel's harder than gold is. So the rock just scrapes the nickel off, I mean scrapes the gold off, and leaves the nickel behind. So this is just one process I use in the gold, the, uh, the IC chips and the CPUs, they're a different process, so I'll be showing that later. But this is going to go on the tumbler, and I'll run this for about 24 hours, and then take it out and remove all the boards and then put it back in there and tumble it some more. And that's working pretty good. So I'm going to run this about, I think about 48 hours. And through the uh, miracle of editing, it's 48 hours later. Take the material that I had in there, dump it out this time. The screen came from a prospector shop. These are uh, boards out of uh, uh, cell phones that I cut up, put in here. There's quite a few of them. Some of these boards are the ones that I was talking about had gold on the surface. That was not too good. Some of these fingers. Let's 
to the finder. Got the the ones out of a laptop that these pieces were covered with gold, and now all the gold's been scraped off. Try to show this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. If you can, you can see that the gold's been scraped off the tops of them. Now all that gold is in that fine powder that's in the bottom. And what I'll do, I'll take all these, throw them in here, take most of the, uh, the larger pieces out of there, throw them back in there. Then I'll use the funnel dump all the stuff, rocks and all, back in this jar. So this all needs to be washed down. Because that black on the boards and things is very possibly full of gold. So I'll wash it all down when I do the final. So I use my uh, makeshift funnel here. <laughs> All that stuff put back in there. And you see some of the pins and other things. I'm going to put that in here. And what I'm going to do is wash this pan out. Put that in here for the wash. But I don't know if you can see this or not. There's not a whole lot of material in there. So, you can tell how many times I'm going to have to do this before I get enough material to make it worthwhile to uh, go ahead and smelt everything down. But that's about it for now. And I'll see you later.